Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make um, a reflect a lighting fixture schedule. It's basically a list of all the lighting that you're using in your project. Uh, this is kind of a template uh, kind of test project I have for for this final project for us in Tech 2. Um, so I'm actually not done with my whole reflected ceiling plan. So as I add things in, it will actually add and populate this guy. So you can make this earlier on in the semester and then kind of like refresh it. But the way we're going to create this is so this is my reflective ceiling plan sheet 103. I've already dragged the plan onto it. I've dragged this schedule onto it. It's right here. And I'm going to demonstrate how you're going to make a new one. So you're going to click on schedules and quantities right here and right click and say new schedule quantities. Then you're going to they have like preset um, charts basically already set up for you. So we're going to scroll down to where we see lighting. Um, in other semesters, we also have you do furniture. So there is one for furniture um, and you can see I have, have it there. That's going to be huge and long. This semester, we're not requiring it, but um, I do have another video. We start requiring it again. <laughs> so we're going to click lighting fixtures here. Click OK. And then now it's going to pop up a new kind of uh, categories here. So these are all preloaded categories that Revit knows are connected with lighting fixtures that you might want to have in this schedule. However, we're going to keep it really simple for our class. So we're going to scroll down to where it says family and type and click the green arrow here and it's going to put it over here. That means it's going to be my schedule now. Then the only other category we need is count. So for us, for this class, we just want to see which one you're using and how many. So we're going to click there to the right. You don't click OK yet. Instead, go up to sorting and grouping. And you want to click here where it says sort by. Instead of none, you want family and type. Then you want to go down here and click grand totals. And we want title count and totals. So that'll kind of mimic what I have here already. But we want to uncheck itemize every instance. Because what that would do is say, for example, if I had like 50 can lights, it's going to list each one individually and then give me the total of 50. I don't want that. That'll take up my whole darn piece of paper. So that's why we uncheck that. So we say, OK, then it's going to generate it. It just made it here. And uh, my project browser is kind of co covering it. Oops, we got to pop back there. Let's go back to Revit. All right, here we go. So move this guy over. So here's my chart here. And it's just it's a little squished. So the easiest way to fix that is kind of hover here and see where now we have like that double sided arrow. So I'm going to just drag it all the way over. This works a lot like um, charts and tables and like windows and things like that. So it's it's pretty adaptable. So I'm going to do it like this for now. I'm not sure how how tight I need it on my page. I'm going to bring this in because the count's pretty easy to, you know, condense there and tighten up. So I'll leave it like that for now. And then if I go back over here, I wanted to kind of try to bring this onto my existing sheet. So here's my sheet here. Here's the earliest earlier one I made. And now drag this new one on. It's this one here. And I'm just going to drag it over. And then actually that fits pretty well too. It's kind of like auto condensing it for me. See how it's wrapping the text down to a second line. That's great. So if I need to or want to stretch it, these arrows here, let me do that. But for now, that looks fine. Um, I'm just going to delete it off since I obviously have one up here already. But um, that's all we need you to do to add an additional chart, the schedule onto your reflected ceiling plan.